Looking for cool toys like the ones seen in this review? You can shop thousands of action figures, statues, busts, replicas, costumes, graphic novels, and much more at Big Bad Toy Store. Just click the link in the description below this video. Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we're gonna be unboxing some of the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action vinyls blind box minifigures from the Loyal Subjects. That's right, it's another line of blind box minifigures featuring the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And check this out, I have myself a complete store display full of these blind box minifigures and we're going to open them up here today and we're going to try to get all of the figures in this lineup so that we can take a closer look at them now if we take a look at the box here itself first of all i love that backdrop great little box and looking down here on the front you can see the figures that are available in this set there are eight basic figures, and we can see those down here, featuring, of course, the four turtles, Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, Donatello. We also have Master Splinter, Shredder, Casey Jones, and Karai. Yeah, not April. These come with Karai, which is incredible. Another thing worth noting, these are definitely more based on the way the characters appeared in the original comic book series. The comics that predate even the original cartoon series that came out. Uh, the turtles do have their signature colored bandanas, not the all red ones, but the design of the costumes, specifically with like Shredder and Casey, uh, Karai here, definitely more based on those original Mirage comic books, which is pretty cool to get some new figures based on those looks. And all those eight figures are in wave one, but if we look over here, we'll notice that there are also three chase figures, and we don't know exactly what they are, um, but these are the three shapes we've got, and there's one in 24, one in 48, and one in 96, so this one here is our ultra rare one. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what the chasers are yet, but we might get some in here. It's uh, definitely worth opening some of these up and checking them out. So the box here has 16 blind boxes. And like I said, there were only eight basic figures and uh, three chase figures. So our odds of getting them are decent, um, except those chase figures, of course, they are much harder to get. But let's go ahead and open some of these up and see what we get on the inside, huh? I'll keep opening them up and uh, see what we get in all of these boxes here. So boxes themselves, great designs. Uh, you can see it got the same colors and the logo and everything that we got on the box itself there. I love it though, very, very cool stuff. Sides of the box shows you all those figures. The back of the box shows us the chasers. So let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna rip this box open right now. Let's see what figures we get on the inside. Ooh, really tough boxes, there we go. Ah, oh, that glue is tight. Okay, here we go, my friends. Ah, uh, and of course, we have little baggies on the inside. There's a look, an image of Shredder on that silver bag there. Oh, we got a little tear tab. That's always nice. All right, here we go. First one. What do we get? Donatello, my friends. We get Donatello. Make sure I get everything out of the bag. Yep, we got weapons here. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Check that out for his weapons. He includes a little wrench, which is awesome and a bow staff. Uh, of course, you gotta have the bow staff, but the wrench, of course, is quite a unique uh, weapon for a Turtles action figure. And we got a little card there as well. Donatello, nickname Donnie, Donsan, abilities ninjutsu, techno wizardry. He's got a bow staff and a wrench, occupation ninja and crime fighter, affiliation TMNT. And here's the figure itself, which by the way, these are really nicely done. Look at the articulation on these guys. Ball joint at the head there, got ball joints at the shoulders, you got swivels at the wrists, 
Got the same kind of ball joints at the thighs there. Great range of movement. And we got, uh, looks like little joints at the ankles there. So you can swivel the feet around. Very cool, um, very stylized look, of course. You got big heads and smaller bodies, but very, very cool looking designs. Let's see if we can get the bow staff placed in his hand. Bow staff's a little gummy and his hand is really stiff. There we go. We got that assembled. Well, we'll go ahead and put the wrench in his hand too. Why not? He came with it, right? Oh, the wrench, of course, would be so he can uh, work on his stuff, right? That's why he would come with a wrench. That makes total sense. There we go. Go build some stuff, Donnie. Boom. Check that out. Donatello. All right. I love it. We'll go ahead and place Donnie back here for right now, and we'll just go ahead and move right along to the next box. All right. Let's rip this bad boy open and see what we get here. Ah, there we go. Got a little silver baggie. Shoo! Got a turtle on that bag. Shredder on the other side, turtle on that side. Oh yes, this, my friends, is the one that I was waiting for. Love me some Casey Jones. Look at that. Such a cool looking figure. I love the paint job on this guy. The mask has got a really nice kind of silver shine to it. It's got those uh, kind of sporty sweatpants on there, the red tank top, cut off finger gloves, and we got some nice weapons here. Oh man, I love it. Look how nicely detailed the weapons are too. That's one thing that's fantastic about these. I mean, the paintwork on them is really nice. You got a great wood feel to that bat. We've got a hockey stick, we got a golf club, and of course we've got his little bag to carry it all in. Here, I'll put a bag over his shoulder there like that and we're gonna put the hockey stick in his hand oh that is so cool i should have done that first huh here we go back baseball bat golf club a jose canseco bat <laughs> i think i say that joke every time i have casey jones out look oh man i love him that is fantastic he's already my favorite figure in this set he is so 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 cool I dropped us a hockey club in there. All right, Casey, stand back here for just a little bit. Let's go ahead and move on to the next box. Who will it be this time? Will it be a chase figure? Oh, no, we have the evil shredder. Shredder has a great look too. I love it. I always liked his old comic book look quite a bit. It's got that reddish, reddish kind of outfit on there. Look at that. The, uh, the spikes look awesome on this guy. Very shiny. Got a great metallic silver. The style of the helmet. You notice it's a little bit different too. It's not quite as like spiky on top. The points kind of go backwards there. Love it. The blacked out face there. So you can't really see his face. Just the eyes shining through. And we got some little weapons for him here too. Which is awesome. Tiny little ninja stars. Those are always like, those are weapons that like, you're like, oh cool, he comes with ninja stars. And then you're like, oh, what am I gonna do with these ninja stars? I don't wanna lose them. <laughs> That's how I feel every time a Ninja Turtles figure comes with stars. All right, and then we got this sweet bladed staff, which is really tough to get into his hand. There we go, there, oh yeah, look at that. That is one bad mofo right there. That is awesome, I love it. Very, very cool. The sculpts and everything on these guys are just really great. They feel very nice, like quality made toys. The articulation is really nice on them. Like I really wasn't expecting them to be quite as articulated as they are. So that's pretty sweet. You know, a lot of these little minifigures, they're just like static. They don't move a whole lot. Um, I guess the mini mates we opened definitely moved, but you know, like the Funko mystery minis were static. They didn't really move a whole lot. Here we go, Master Splinter. Oh, another fantastic looking sculpt. Look at this guy. Got that red gi that he's wearing there. Got the tail. Tail doesn't seem to be articulated, but the legs are articulated. Um, they are kind of like the bent rat legs there. So gotta get him in a good stance so that he can stay standing. Look at that great sculpt work on the face. Very, very cool. And he gets his own little bag of accessories too. Look at that. Wow, he's got, his, he's got his walking staff, of course, but he also comes 
with bow and arrows and a little quiver to put the arrows in. Look at that. All of the arrows are like individually. It's got great paintwork, sculpted details. We got three little arrows here. Wow, there's a lot of small parts with these, but I love that. Oh, they do fit nice and snug when you put them all in there together. So that's nice. That way they don't fall out. And you got a little peg there. So we can plug it in the back. Look at that. We can put the bow in his hand there. And then in the other hand, we got his walking stick. Let's see if we can get that. Yeah, it's probably best to do it like this. That's, uh, well, yeah, one thing about these so far I've experienced with all of them is they have very, very tight grip on their hands. It's kind of hard to get their weapons put in there. Probably just the first time around. Uh, loosens them up a little bit and then it won't be as bad. Yeah, Splinter's having a hard time holding on to his walking stick, but nonetheless, look at that guy. That is awesome. I love him, love him, love him. Okay, here we go. Next box. I've got four of the basic eight so far. So I think I'll at least complete the basic eight figures. So far, no doubles. Of course, I probably just jinxed myself by saying that, but let's see what we got here. Pulling from the front of the box too so far, you notice. I did, look, I jinxed myself. There's another Master Shredder. Uh, yep, looks exactly the same as the one we've already got. So I'll go ahead and just set him aside and we will move on to the next box. I probably should've just kept my mouth shut, huh? I seem to do that every time. I always jinx myself. Like, oh, I haven't had any doubles. Wah, wah, there's a double. Oh, Shredder's back here taking everybody out. On your feet, guys, on your feet. I'm gonna have to move them anyway once I get back there and start opening up those figures. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, there we go. There's a new one for us, Leonardo. Wow, look how bright he is. That green is so vibrant on there. Very cool, very, Arr, got the teeth gritting pose there and check that out, we got his weapons. Oh, he also comes with his own Ninja Stars, which by the way are different. They're different than Shredder's Ninja Stars, they're a little bigger. And it's nice that we got the little quiver for the katana blades. Looks like we, yep, we can plug it right there in the back of Leo's shell. Just like so. Should we get those in there? And look at the swords. Very, very nicely done. Great paint details. The handles are painted. The blades themselves are a nice metallic silver. Oh gosh. Here we go again. There we go. Goes in there, and then the process. I knocked his. Uh... There we go. Awesome. There is our Leonardo, my friends. Look at that guy. Fantastic. All right, moving right along. Who you guys think I'm gonna get in this time? Who do we get? Who do we get? Hoping for uh, an original figure. Somebody we don't have yet. Oh, well, this looks good. Hey, it's Michelangelo, and boy, is he happy. Look at that. Cheese and big time, huh? I love that sculpt, though. I like how the, the lower jaw is kind of like a shorter than the upper jaw there. He's got that huge smile on his face. And not only do we get a pair of nunchucks, or two nunchucks, but we also get some pizza. Mikey gets pizza. Look at that. Doesn't really uh, stick together or anything, but you got a slice of pizza removed. And then Mikey's got a pair of nunchucks as well. He's actually got two, see, so we got two there. Uh, nowhere to store the extra chucks, but I am gonna go ahead and put the slice of pizza in his hand. Yum, 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 yum. Party on, dudes. That's fantastic. Well, hey, check that out. We now have three of the turtles. We got Splinter, we got Shredder, Casey Jones, so we need uh, Raphael still. We're still waiting on my favorite turtle, and we need Karai, and that'll complete the basic eights, and then hopefully we'll get at least one chase figure in here. I'm kind of hoping so, at least. All right. Oh, excellent. There is our Karai. Look at that. Man, something that we just don't get enough Karai figures, you know? I love it. Name meaning is spicy and harsh. Abilities, deadly ninja skills, weapon, katana and long blow, occupation, elite ninja assassin, affiliation, the Foot Clan. 
and let's get out her uh, oh her weapons are stuck to the bag there we go get her wow she's got quite a few weapons let's uh I'll put her up here so you guys can see her and let me dig out all these weapons here so we can get every wow man and i thought splinters arrows were tiny look at these little things so she does got a little quiver she's got little arrows there and she's also got the sheath for this katana blade and she's got her own bow so let's see i guess you got to choose you can't really push she's only got one hole on her back so we can't put the quiver and the sword sheath there i'll just go and do the sword sheath for right now we'll uh put that there oh it kind of gets in the way of her hair too well that's a bummer maybe the arrow quiver will fit better maybe 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 not no not really <laughs> well that is a bit of a bummer like the sculpt of her hair you can see kind of gets in the way a little bit so we'll just leave that off of her for right now and put the sword in her hand and then we'll get a closer look at her i do love the look of her i mean she's got the purple hair she's wearing like a black bodysuit there got the little strap going across which would be holding on to her one of her, qu her quiver sheath uh, i like the bodysuit too because it's got like kind of a nice shine to it i don't know if that's coming across too well in the camera but it's almost got like a pearlescent shine to it got those great like ninja booties on there and man just how cool is it that we got a karai figure that is one thing that i absolutely love about this like i said just not enough karais out there in action figure form we need one in the new nick turtles line desperately but not a snake one like we need actual karai she's so awesome in the new show am i right okay is this raf oh guys we got donnie again so that will be our second double yep he's just the standard donatello so i'll move him out of the way let's move on over to our next figure Is it somebody new? Master Splinter again. Same Master Splinter. So, so far we have gotten three doubles and we're one short of having all of the basic eight figures. Gotta get Raph. Casey's gonna be lonely without Raph. All right, come on, at least be Raph. At least be Raph. Oh no, I tore my card. It was in the way. Oh, it's Karai. We got a second Karai poking out there above the ripped card. That stinks that I ripped the card, but hey, it figures fine, right? All right. And those guys are going to have to start moving out of the way now. And let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Another Mikey. Boy, guys, we are at a point now where I am just racking up the doubles. <sighs> Let's move everybody down. I'll get them all out again for you guys to take a closer look at towards the end of the video. Right now, I am just focused on getting a ref. I have to get a ref. If I get through this whole case and I don't get my favorite turtle, but I got everybody else, I'm not gonna be very happy. I'll be upset, I'll be upset. Come on, Raphael. Oh, this is looking good. Yes, there we go, my friends. Raphael is here. Look at that, just like his box art. I love it. And look at that, we got a whole bunch of weapons with him. Get those opened up there. So we get two size, and we also get um, the hooks, which, ah, I'm terrible at the names, but you know what these guys, you know what these are. But we're gonna put the size in his hands because, yeah, those are the signature weapons of Raphael. There we go. And now we got a Raph we can pair up with our Casey, or of course the other four turtles. Check that out. I love it. Man, great looking figure. So I now have all eight basic figures. I have three boxes left, and there are three chase figures to acquire still. You don't think there's any chance that all three of these are chase figures, do you? Yeah, probably not. They are probably just going to be duplicates again, but let me open them up just to find out. Just to find out. All right, we got another basic Leo. A 
Last two, guys. Here we go. Tearing these boxes open because I'm excited. Oh, yeah, there's another Casey Jones. He's the man. He's a double, but he's the man. All right. Final box, my friends. Final box. Come on. One chase figure, maybe. Just one. Just one. Oh my gosh, I got one of the chase figures, I think. Look at that. My friends, we have a foot soldier or a foot ninja. Number, oh, 10 of 11? So let's see, I bet. Doesn't tell us on there his rarity. So he's the. It looks like one of the chase figures is obviously female. So he is probably the one in 24 or the one in 96. I'm guessing he's the one in 24. I'm guessing the Foot Clan Ninja isn't gonna be the most rare figure in here. I'm not sure what is the most rare figure, but very, very cool. I'm so happy that I got at least one of these guys and he's got an assortment of weapons here also. Excellent, I love them. I, again, I always liked the look of the foot soldiers here, or the foot ninjas in the old comics too. They had a great design, very, very cool. Well, there you go, my friends. There's a look at the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Action Vinyls blind box minifigures from the loyal subjects. It's a really cool assortment of figures. Uh, I love the looks of these guys. They have a really great design, fun little sculpts, really nice articulation with very nicely detailed weapons. And I just love that these guys are modeled after the original comic books. It's just not something that we see a lot of these days, uh, especially with these characters like Shredder and the Foot Soldier and Casey Jones. They look fantastic in this style. If you're a fan of Ninja Turtles, Turtles, especially dating back to all the way back to those comic books, I really think you'd really enjoy these. These might be something fun to pick up and add to your collection. Now, if you want to buy an entire case of them like I did, it is a bit pricey to do, uh, but it looks like it'll at least guarantee you all eight of the basic figures. You'll get a couple doubles, might luck out and get one of the chase figures like I did, and you can pick those up at online stores right now, such as BigBadToyStore.com. Or if you want to, you can just head into your local specialty or comic shop, pick up the blind box figures themselves, and uh, even places like Toys R Us are starting to carry these figures in a keychain format, uh, which might be another way you might want to pick these up. So, happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.